Uh, also, federal tax refunds are falling and the budget deficit is widening in the wake of the new tax laws. This coming as smaller tax refunds have surprised those hoping to receive some relief. Uh, Kristen, I know that you've been following this closely in terms yeah. of people being shocked by some of the <laughs> refunds they've been seeing. Uh, what are you seeing? Well, I mean, look, some of this news isn't surprising, right? CBO had come out and said with these new tax cuts that we'd be adding $1.9 trillion um, to, the, to the national debt. So, of course, the deficits are, are widening every year. And then, by the way, that's a trend that has uh, reversed. So, Obama, we saw deficits start to decline. Ever since Trump took office, we've seen deficits start to increase. But, yeah, people are filing their taxes early. Um, they didn't pay attention, really, frankly, to their total tax liability. Some of them saw uh, larger paychecks throughout the year, but then tax, you know, tax refund time time came excuse me and they saw you know lower refunds or more surprisingly they owed money mm -hmm. and a lot of people were absolutely stunned by this you know the IRS um, had those withholding tables changed but there was reports that came out that said look a lot of people aren't going to be looking at them yeah. and you know true to form they didn't and frankly this tax cut law really affected a lot of people who itemized those salt deductions that you know took away those state and local didn't take away the state and local tax deductions but reduced them to ten thousand um, dollars on a cap on that and Brandon you you teach a class on finance and you cover <laughs> yeah. these these things all the time but some people actually count pretty heavily on these on these tax refunds, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, you talk about the economy and pumping dollars into the economy, and, and a lot of people look to those tax refunds as a kickstart on the new year, right? Putting a down payment on the house, uh, buying gifts and, and all of that type of stuff for loved ones, but uh, when you don't have that, when you're not getting back what you're expecting, that puts a damper on things. So um, we'll see how, how the economy recovers, quote unquote, you know. Um, as a result of this. Yeah, not I'm entirely the best starts. Not, not entirely the best starts of well, the year if this well, is no, the way I, it's... I was surprised to see, and maybe I shouldn't have been, but I'm surprised to see that so many people view their refund as a savings account. Yeah, right? it's scary. And Yeah, and <laughs> I, I, I've never viewed my tax refund that way, but when I was talking to people and when I was interviewing them, it was clear that a lot of people earmark their tax refund well before they even file those taxes. <laughs> to Brandon's point, you know, yeah. they've earmarked that for gifts, you know, putting that down to maybe paying off some of their debt, you know, putting it towards savings, maybe to buy a home. So when they get less less money in their refund, it's an easy number for them to compare to, you know, previous year's mm -hmm. returns. Um, it's just one lump sum, and so they get angry um, yeah. if it's not the I'd same. Get angry, and then you're playing catch up <laughs> for the rest of the year. Exactly. I don't know. I, I, I just, it's always just a good reminder just not to count on your tax refund right. as your main kickoff for the year in terms of financial well, no. standing. And, you know, Chuck Grassley, Senator Chuck Grassley had said, look, people need to stop looking at just their tax refunds, right? And, and it is true. People need to consider their total tax liability. They need to change their, they need to have their employers um, change their withholdings. Um, they need to really check those withholding tables and see if they really need to be having more money withheld from their paycheck. Yeah. Well